Hello, my friends. I'm excited to talk with you today. I want to share with you a little bit more about mantles and about being a sent one in the power and authority of the Lord. And so I just want to share with you that you have been given a mantle from heaven. And this mantle is a covering, okay? It's almost like having a change of clothes, all right? Just like Elijah put the mantle on Elisha. And so it is It is a covering that we wear that is visible to the spirit realms and to the natural realms of the gifts and callings of God on our life, of how we've been designated and set apart in order to bear fruit for the Lord. So it's visible to the supernatural realm, the mantle or covering that you wear. In other words, the spirit realms bow down to the mantles that we exercise and we carry. Now, so, so don't be confused by that word mantle. I know sometimes people are like, well, I, I don't really know what that is. And, and, and what do you mean about a mantle assignment, like a new assignments coming? Well, your mantle is distinguished by your natural gifts and also by your spiritual gifts. Okay, so you have a personality where God has given you natural gifts in your DNA and in your birth, but you also have a deposit of the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, which manifests in spiritual gifts. The combination of the two of those is how you contribute to bringing forth God in the kingdom. Okay, so with this, you need to know where your power source is to operate with the mantle covering that God has given you. And this is what I want to talk to you about today. So you have a mantle that does not leave you. It is visible to the supernatural realms. It is visible in the natural realms, how people respond to you in certain situations when you're carrying the power of the mantle. But it is focused on the foundation of understanding the splendor and the majesty of the Lord, okay? Now this is really powerful here because your kingdom mantle, the covering that you wear, okay, is Christ on you, okay? So you have a crown of righteousness, you have a robe of righteousness, you have a breastplate of righteousness, you carry his righteousness. He is majestic and, and splendor, all right? He is full of these things. And heavenly realms are full of majesty and splendor. So your mantle is going to exude the foundation of the heavenly realms, which is majesty and splendor. It is also the realms of majesty, splendor, glory, prosperity, these are the realms of heaven, okay? The eternal realms exude that level of strength, that level of, of release into the earth realms because that's where our king resides. Now, you reside with the king, right? Because you're seated with Christ in heavenly places, which means you are seated with him so this does mean that all of the heavenly hosts know your mantle because we as the bride of Christ, the body of Christ, are seated with Christ in heavenly places. So there we are next to the majestic king. So however our mantle operates on the earth, it's going to operate from that foundation, that heavenly seed, that position of authority where we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. And the foundation, that foundation meaning the earth is underneath our feet, okay, just like it's underneath Jesus' feet. The earth and all of the forces in the earth must respond to our mantle, which is a carrying of his splendor and his glory. Now, this is really powerful. Let me tell you why. Because as you begin to start stepping out in dunamis power, in exousia power, remember I talked to you about the miracle working power of God is dunamis power. Exousia power is the delegated authority that God has given you. Those two things on the foundation of Kratos power, which is the dominion of life, we will operate in our mantles in such a way that we will be a huge blessing to the supernatural realms and the natural realms everywhere that we go. We will be bringing forth the prosperity of the king, the majesty and splendor to every situation. We will be in the eternal realms that we're walking in the earth realms, okay? Remember, the future has already been written. 
you walk it out in the earth. But you see the level of confidence you have to have. You have to have an extreme level of confidence to know that the, the mantle that you carry, right? This, this, this robe that you have upon you that the spirit realms see. There's an expectation that you have been chosen, set apart, anointed, and appointed to operate in those mantles on the earth. Now, I had a dream the other day which really explained this well. And I was um, operating in this dream by binding demonic strongholds. And there was angelic forces there with me. Okay, and their level of participation was only if I had directed them. Okay, and, and they were actually just watching me bind these demonic forces because we were getting the Lord was getting ready to release something. And and so one of the angels. All right. As I was there and I finished binding these forces, one of the angels approached me when that was finished. He had stood back and he was watching me. He approached me when it had finished. And I knew in that approach, as he came near me, I could feel just the heavenly power that he carried. And I began to start weeping. I, I just began to start weeping because I had been in this battle and I had been binding these forces. And I had not called on the angels to help me, but they were watching, okay? They were watching. And so he in particular was a protection angel that, that had been assigned to me. And so he had been watching me. And when it was finished and he came near me, he came near me and I broke down because he was letting me know, it's okay, I'm here to strengthen you. I'm here to build you up and I'm here to position you so you can continue continue to do more. Now, if I had activated the angels while I was there, maybe I wouldn't have been so tired after I had been binding these forces. But then I also released a congregation of people and evangelists to go forth and begin to minister the gospel. And so my apostolic mantle caused me, after the binding of the forces, to step out and give direction to evangelists to go forth and evangelize and a whole congregation of people now just go with them and begin to evangelize. And so there was a release for the movement of the gospel. And these demonic forces had prevented that from taking place. Now the angels, they will participate with us when we ask them to, okay? When we when we delegate and give them responsibility, all right? And at that time, I hadn't even really noticed them being with me. I was very, very busy binding these forces and they were there and they were there to protect me. But maybe I wouldn't have been so tired if I had recognized them and called on them right in that moment to do that. Now, ultimately, this was a dream, but it was a very, very real dream to me. And it brought forth a lot of really great revelation. The other thing in the dream was that I was royalty, okay, and the angels were not. And in my dialogue with the angel, he pretty much told me that. He says, we are not the same. He says, you know, in, and in this conversation, he used key words. He was like, you know, as a child of God, I am royalty. We are, you and me are royal citizens of the kingdom of heaven. We have all the rights and privileges of heaven and we operate in that on the earth. The angelic hosts are already heavenly hosts and they reside with, with the king in heaven, okay? But they are servants of ours because they're servants of the king. So when we operate in our kingly authority, they come alongside us and they begin to help us. And so I was operating in my kingly authority. Now, he, this particular angel was holding back some level of force at some level. He was holding something back and he was watching and waiting. But my dialogue with him in the end really gave me a, another greater understanding of participation with the angels. I'm always learning just like everybody's learning. I've got a lot of understanding about this, especially uh, operating with the angels of fire. My new book's getting ready to come out here in just a few weeks, and you can pre-order yours uh, on my website so you can get a copy and find out all about how to operate with these angels. But this dialogue I had with this one angel really showed me that, that he was waiting for me as a royal citizen who'd been wearing the mantle of the apostle to go forward. He had been waiting for me to step out and ask him to come and do some things. But in the end, he ended up restoring me. He strengthened me. He built me up. I felt the strength of the Lord upon him and it just raised me up, gave me great joy so I could go back out and again do what I had to do. And that's very biblical because the angels will strengthen us. That's in the word of God. 
God as well. So now let me just give you this one scripture here. I know I've talked a lot, I've shared a lot, but I want you to wear the majesty, splendor, prosperity, the Kratos power that you have the authority to walk in, that dominion of life where you're bringing forth the authority of life and you're bringing forth, um, and that's your delegated authority, your exousia authority. You're bringing forth the dunamis, miracle working life power into people. You're wearing your mantle, your spiritual gifts, you're operating this. I want you to remember that when God, when Jesus himself spoke to the disciples, he said this, he says, uh, John chapter 15, verses 14 through 17, he said, You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. This is my command, love each other. So it's God's desire that we step out in these mantles and he will give you new assignments where you'll be able to walk in your mantle. And that's what these glory angels have been bringing forth here at the beginning of this month of Tammuz. They've been bringing forth new mantle assignments. You have a mantle, new assignments are coming in regards to your spiritual gifts and also in regards to your natural gifts. This mantle that you carry, you've got new assignments coming. Step out, bear fruit, walk in the authority, but let it be prosperous since that's the realm of heaven is prosperity and majesty and splendor. You carry the king with you everywhere you go. Okay, share this with a friend, encourage them today, bless them. God's doing great things and you're on his team. Hashtag, I'm on his team.